It's time to take control of your life. And here's a little inspiration just for you. First off, I am 35 years old. I am thrice divorced and I live in a van down by the river. Welcome back everyone to the five minute sales training. If you like what you see here week by week, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really helps us to grow this channel so that even more sales professionals like you can learn more to earn more. Hey, let me ask you this question. When did you last do something proactive to grow your own capabilities? Now, the reality is that most people put their development plans into the hands of others. They wait for the boss to motivate them in some way. They attend a required training class or more commonly, they do nothing at all. They just keep on keeping on. Now, this really comes down to a question of ownership, specifically who owns your career. Self-development is one of the most enjoyable things that you can ever do. There's something extremely powerful about taking that level of control over your own long-term success. In fact, that's why I've put together Sales 365. I want to create a place where top performing sales professionals go to connect and to learn and to get coaching directly from me. Not just by watching a five minute video on Saturday morning, but by rolling up their sleeves and dedicating themselves to the continuous pursuit of sales excellence. Now, if that sounds like something that you need to do, just follow the link on the screen to join the interest list because the program is starting up very, very soon. You'll also find the link in the description below this video. And when you join that interest list, we can let you know as soon as the program begins and the Sales 365 app launches. How cool is that? Our very own app. Now, one of the focal points for my community is personal growth. And we're gonna work on that a lot. But for today, let's just talk about where to start. What does self-development look like? I'd like to freshen things up with a few unorthodox suggestions. All right, suggestion number one. Speed read. I actually took a speed reading course. I tested at 800 WPM. That's pathetic. I tested at 802. That's pretty close to Holt's score. No, no, 802 is incredible. She pwned me. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, I could never comprehend what I was reading if I was reading that quickly. But I'm not talking about speed reading as we commonly think about it. I'm talking about speed scanning. You need to give yourself permission to not have to read every word on the page. Simply scan for what matters. This is especially helpful with online postings, blog articles. There's typically all kinds of fluff that doesn't really apply to you. Now, having said that, when you get to the meaty part, slow way down. You are so much better off deeply considering one important point in an article or in the chapter of a book than you are reading every word on every page. Here's my second suggestion. Read with an agenda. You will get so much more out of your reading time if you have an idea of what you are trying to accomplish before you start reading. So set a goal for what you wanna learn and how you want to grow. That's gonna help you to become more targeted and specific as you read. And if you're reading something and it's not getting where you wanna go, shelve it. It's a bad use of time. Suggestion number three, pause the YouTube video. Hey, I said we were gonna be unorthodox, right? But I have to tell you, I find YouTube to be an invaluable resource for my own growth. Well, that's not exactly the type of video I was talking about. I mean growth-oriented videos, and there are so many great videos on YouTube. So when I'm watching an instructional video, my practice is to pause the video and write down what I think the key point is for me. I don't want all of those ideas simply spoon fed to me. I will learn so much more if I can think for myself and find the key learning that will make a difference for my own development. Suggestion number four, set up a growth budget. 
Now, I long ago lost track of how much I've spent on personal growth and professional development. The only thing I know is that it hasn't been enough. Too many salespeople limit their development to the training that their company provides. And that can be beneficial, but it shouldn't be everything. You see, only you know what will make the biggest difference in your own growth. Now look, test me on this. When you invest your own money, you will find the greatest growth opportunities. Suggestion number five, start a growth group. Now I know this is probably outside your comfort zone, but accountability is one of the most important aspects of your development. Normally we think of accountability as coaches or managers who are sort of bearing down on us. There's no reason that that accountability can't come from your peers. Select just three to five people who want to study the same things that you want to study. Pick people who will take it seriously. People who are going to check their ego at the door. People who really want to be their very best. Now look, I just gave you five suggestions for directing your own personal growth. And now the challenge. Is there one that you're ready to run with? And, and what are the specific steps that you're going to take to get started? Or what else do you want to do that I haven't even mentioned? Can I ask you to do something? Leave your answer in the comments below. Make a commitment to your own growth and put it in the comments below. I legitimately cannot wait to read them and help encourage you along the way. I can tell you this for sure. You do not get better by watching a video. You get better by application. It's not what you learn, what you do. Thanks for watching. And remember until next time, learn more, earn more.